They over there in Africa trying to dig for them other 59,999 books. They over there in Africa looking for diamonds and gold, precious metals and oil that they might be able to control the wealth of a nation. They know that psychologically, physically, they are not superior to black people. So we got to find a way to control the money and the military. And if we got a bigger army and more money, then even the natural power won't be able to rule. You all right? Black people in Africa, we invented paper. It was called papyrus. That came from a fiber plant called the papyrus plant. And we would weave it together and write on top of it. We also use the papyrus for a natural form of birth control. We would take the papyrus, grind it down, mix it with aloe vera and honey, and produce a gel that knocked the urge of sex off of the original inhabitants. We had condoms back then, made of lamb skin instead of latex. On that papyrus plant was the first alphabet and the first form of writing called hieroglyphics. 1800 BC, we developed irrigation systems. 6,000 years before Christ, we knew how to negotiate water in one area of the Mesopotamia to a whole nother area of the Mesopotamia. We could bring water from Ethiopia all the way to Iraq to put water on areas to grow vegetation where rainfall wasn't sufficient. We knew the science of food and the color code that Allah God put on fruits and vegetables. So whenever we needed energy, we looked for red fruit and red vegetables. Whenever we felt like we were mentally fatigued, we went after the yellow fruits and vegetables, the squashes and the bananas. Whenever we needed to calm down and relax, we went after the blueberries and the eggplants and the grapes of the blue colored family. Whenever we needed to help our digestive process, we went after the green vegetables and the green fruit to help our digestion. Whenever we felt disease sneaking up on us and we needed to boost our immune system, we ate the orange family. And the color coding of the fruits and vegetables, we knew it scientifically. Therefore, we ate to live on the motherland. We had the first universities called mystery schools. Al Azhar University, Jesus went to it. I, I said Jesus went to it. You got to get this spooky thing about Jesus at your brain. Jesus wasn't sitting in no daggone manger on no pile of gold with no oversized crown dipped to the side. And then from some invisible straw from heaven, God was shooting wisdom in his head. That man was taught by a wise man. The radio in the head, how to tune in. And he went to a university to learn wisdom. Luxor University was so huge in Africa. It was one mile long and had 80,000 students. Y'all didn't hear what I just said. 80,000 students. They were studying algebra, a high form of mathematics that came from a name al Jabal, which was a Muslim name. Y'all didn't hear me. There was a black man that was considered the African multi-genius by the name of Imhotep. Lived 2,000 years before Hippocrates put down his hypocrisy and claimed that he fathered medicine and philosophy. Imhotep was the original doctor. Imhotep was the original architect. He designed the first step pyramid of Saqqara out of his own mind. Imhotep was a master builder. Imhotep was a scholar. He was a scientist. Imhotep was the father of philosophy. So not only did he know how to build outside, but he knew how to build people from the inside. Imhotep, a black man, did that. Whenever the white man came with the study of 
the molecular composition and the atomic origin of all matter and energy. He called it chemistry. Chemistry. The word chemistry stri means study of kill. Where Egypt's original name was Kemet. So when they wanted to study the origin of the molecules and the atomic structure of energy and matters, they didn't go to Europe and study. They studied in Kemet to learn the origin of all things. 3000 BC, we had a med medical institution. 300 years later, we performed the first surgery. Y'all not hearing me? They have papyrus reports that show that in Africa, thousands of years ago, they had discovered tumors already and knew how to remove them. They would go in and cut the tumor out, and then they would use honey, breast milk, or gazelle's milk to help heal the area that they performed surgery. Even to this day, the white man will tell you, if somehow or another you lose the tip of your finger or uh, your arm or fingers are cut off, put it on ice. And if you don't have ice, put it in milk. For milk has the ability to preserve the life of the organ even though it's disconnected from the body. Where did you learn it from, white man? You learned it from the original people, 3000 BC, that had a hospital and was performing major operations on tumors 3,000 B.C., 5,000 years ago. All praise is due to Allah. We were flying planes. They have reports of airports 37 miles long, 37 miles wide. They made the airports sometime to be shaped like a cat, sometime like a bird. And people that were looking at them just thought that this was art but they were hiding wisdom from the wicked white man. They made them look like animals so that they would not know that they were landing the objects. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying? Why do you think the slave said, swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home? You ain't talking about a slave ship. Slave ships float. But if you're asking something to swing low, it has to be flying high. So 3,000 years ago, located 700 miles south of Cairo and the Giza Plateau at a place called Abydos, there's written on the ceiling beams of the New Kingdom Temple. Y'all ain't with me. Carved in stone. Images of flying contraptions. Y'all can't see them from there, but you get the DVD and we'll zoom in on them for you. Here you see a picture of a helicopter. Y'all not seeing them. There you see a submarine. Here you see an airplane. Y'all with me? Then I gotta go back to the other page because it's something that they didn't talk about. There's another object on this particular form where you find this airplane, helicopter, and submarine. And it is a acorn-shaped object. Did, did y'all hear me? And if you look very carefully as we zoom in, this acorn-shaped object has another smaller acorn-shaped object hovering underneath it. Y'all call them UFOs. We call them IFOs because they are identified flying objects. These are wheels in the middle of the wheel that Ezekiel seen. This is the bomber plane and the mother plane. They seen it in Africa long before the white man ever started flying. 